one blur east penthouses one blur east penthouses is the topic of today's video this is Josie Kaplan Toronto real estate agent mortgage broker with search realty and search mortgage hello today I'm going to talk to you about the great golfs one blur east penthouses for sale there are two levels of penthouses we're going to look into these penthouses and see where all the rage is and why these penthouses sell for upwards of 10 million dollars Canadian 10 million dollar Canadian it's about six and a half million uh, US give or take it's a lot of money in uh, any any situation and uh, Toronto has come to this level of 10 million Canadian dollars for one condo okay good or bad you tell me but we're gonna go review it and explain to you why you see these prices of 10 million and how it's gonna affect not only you and me but everyone in this town okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the oneblur.com use HTTPS the great golf okay that is the site for the building the building is completed it sits on a southeast corner of Young and Bloor so it's the only place with the two subway lines we only have two subway lines in this city of three million people which is ridiculous but that's it um, and it sits right where these two subway lines meet so it's a prestigious address but also a sought after address because of easy access to subway and mind you subway is overcrowded and it's really busy but still it is a big draw this is the draw the address one address and the proximity to subway okay so what's happening here is a full-on true worldwide global cosmopolitan luxury okay who's gonna buy these condos there's uh, four on a plate two stories so a total um, obviously the top floor has four and that, that's where everyone wants you can buy it now if you compare it to New York City where someone just uh, dropped uh, 300 million on a penthouse US you know so add another third 400 uh, 400 some million Canadian on a penthouse that's before expenses <laughs> you know that's uh, you can buy 40 of these of the, the most expensive one for the price of one penthouse in New York just to put in in, uh, in perspective nonetheless this is Toronto this is the best we got and it's pretty good uh, Greg Golf is a, is a reputable company they've been building for many years doing a lot of buildings and with one blue they really try to take it to the next level now when this building starts selling if you remember there was a big white tent this is goes back probably six to eight years ago now where they were selling there was a big white tent and it was winter and people stood in line outside waiting and of course the news media in Toronto they just just doesn't get it media never gets it okay don't listen to them uh, they're like look at these people they're standing in the snow and the rain and it's cold to buy condos it's crazy well these people that you thought are crazy doubled and tripled their investment because they're smart enough and they're willing to sit there in the cold for a couple hours to get that unit now not all of them bought the condo the penthouse some of them bought you know small 400 square feet uh, condo on a lower floor nonetheless they're all making great money because if they're paying say six hundred dollars a foot then and they're selling for fifteen hundred now that's two and a half times your investment but don't forget you only invested twenty percent so it's two and a half times of your overall investment two times three times of your overall investment but your real cash is only the twenty percent so let's say you're paying at the time three hundred thousand for the condo now it's worth six hundred the actual deposit was sixty thousand you know or whatever it is say sixty thousand twenty percent of three hundred thousand that's worth six hundred so you actually ten times your deposit okay that's the idea behind uh, investing in condos so will this condo become ten times at a hundred million at some point it will uh, maybe not tomorrow but at some point it will this is prestige this is about you know what's available this is about being the only person in Toronto in Canada that can afford this thing that has to have this thing who you can host here who you can be maybe you can rent it out you know it's it's a store value when you buy uh, a residence at such a crazy price <clears throat> it's more than just buying a home it's it's an investment for many many years this is not a, a 400 square foot condo you know that you all used to <coughs> we all used to this is a home in the sky this is a whole other level it needs a different kind of thinking a different kind of understanding and a different kind of vibe to look at it okay you got uh, the Northeast there's one large unit here they got the Northwest with uh, 
think it's two story. I can't really see if it's two story or two units on two different stories. It's too small. Uh, the southeast the same, and the southwest the same. It looks like it's actually uh, the left is 75th and the right is 76th floor. So what you're looking here is actually the floor plate for both uh, the 75th and on the left and the 76th floor on the right. Okay, so the 75th floor, uh, smaller units probably have a few more units on it and the 76 is uh, is a larger units. okay? Uh, that's what you're looking at. The important, important thing to understand here is this is more than a residence. This is a residence, this is a home in the sky, but it, it's a life investment. Here's the top of the building. It's a life investment, it's a lifestyle investment, it's a store of value. You know, if you're sitting on 20, 30, 50, 100 million dollars, a billion dollars, this is a good place to park your money. This is a good place to put, you know, two, three, five, ten million dollars and just let it be. That's what you want to do. This is Hong Kong style investing where people in Hong Kong sometimes sit on multi million dollar residences and they're vacant. And when I was in Hong Kong, I was like, how can it be it's vacant? They're not making any money here. You know, they have to pay the taxes, da da da. And, and the broker at the time that was showing me in Hong Kong, teaching me about Hong Kong real estate, was tell me, you will say, this is not what you're thinking about. This is not about return investment this way. This is about store value. This way you park your money. When you sell it, you're going to make the money then. And if you rent it to someone who really gets it, they'll pay you enough. Okay, I get it. That's what's happening here. Okay, so let's go on the map. And I want to show you here on the map. Okay, so this is the 3D map. So here we are at uh, One Blur East. And remember that on the right, let's check in here to see, we're still running, looks like, yeah. On the right, that's One Blur East, and Google already has the image of the building. And on the left, here, there'll be the one, which is One Blur West. So we have One Blur East, or One Blur, which is the east southeast corner of uh, Young and Blue and the one, one blue west on the uh, southwest corner of Young and Blue, okay? So uh, this is technically, by the way, this is considered Yorkville because Yorkville actually extends to the north side of, um, of Charles here, okay? So this is uh, considered Yorkville, though most people think the Yorkville is north of Blue, actually comes south of Blue by one block. And of course, Yorkville itself, uh, here's the Four Seasons right here. One of the most expensive, if not the most expensive building in the city. And then uh, Davenport and all the new buildings. You know, I, uh, if you look at yesterday's video, 11 Yorkville, 8 Cumberland, Cumberland, and there's 68 Yorkville and many others. So Yorkville is becoming very, very busy. It's a very small, it's becoming kind of an enclave of towers of very expensive. Uh, here, right to the east, this is Charles Street with the Casa condos and the ex condos. Uh, so they're all here. Okay, they're, they're all sitting here. And and these also came, you know, at the time, I think we were selling them for 400 to $500 a foot, and now they're like 1000 to 2000 depending on the floor, the view, the height. So the bluer, uh, the, the, the young and bluer address is, is, is a sought after address. And if you can afford to grab a penthouse at one bluer east, uh, which are available for sale right now, um, you know, you may invest in a long-term investment to retain your value. You know, everything in the, in the world comes up and down, but at the end of the day, you know, there's a special market for penthouses and there's a special market for luxury real estate. Most people don't understand it because they're just not in the mindset of, how could I pay $10 million for a condo? Yes, you can, and it's okay because it's a whole other ball game. It's a whole other level. So if you are watching this video and you are um, this kind of player, that's very good. I'm Yossi Kaplan with Search Realty, and I'll show you some information about these penthouses uh, and why I think these are very good investments. So uh, there's a video here right from Great Golf that gives you um, a bit of understanding of what's going on. Let me see if I can get it running. Uh, no, well, what I'll do is I'll include it. I'll include this video. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll just attach this video. So when you come to the end of this video, I'll just uh, append this video into the YouTube, you can see it. Uh, let's look at prices here. Prices for One Blur East by Great Golf, the penthouses. So the prices start, okay, penthouse one, 1977 square feet at 3.379990. Okay, that's for the northeast view. The southeast view, much larger, over double the size, gets seven, asking 
9.90. That's in Canadian dollars, okay? So take 30, 35% off for US dollars. Um, the Southwest, which is uh, most amount of light, most desired, also the largest one in the building, 5,741 square feet, Southwest view, uh, is asking 9.809990, so just under $10 million Canadian. And the Northwest corner, which is also a lovely corner, because remember in Toronto, North is actually slightly angled, so Northwest gets afternoon light um, on the north side in Toronto. If you look at the map, you, may, you see what I mean. 3,164 square feet, asking of 5.4 million Canadian dollars, okay? These are the prices. Uh, I'm gonna look here at the brochure and you can see a bit of the information. So to give you a bit of render of what it's gonna look like, these are very nice high-end renders. Consider the very, very top of the building Overlook in Toronto, you're almost in line with the CN Tower. First, because you're so high up, and second, because uh, Bloor is much elevated than where the CN Tower is situated, which is uh, south of front, which is basically at, at uh, lake, almost at lake level. And Toronto uh, descends toward the lake, and if you go north, you're rising up. So we elevated geographically, but also we elevated by way of the building. So the, view are, the views are unbelievable. Lots of uh, water views, and you can see all of Toronto. Address in the sky. This is exactly what it's about here. This is an address that, by way of the address, retains its own value and creates its own value. Okay? And they show you the neighborhood here. That one blue is here. Here's the Royal Ontario, the university, another university, art gallery. So it's just showing you a bit of the, the staples of uh, uh, Toronto's arts and, uh, and uh, centers, you know, financial center, entertainment center, so on and so forth. Um, just some idea of what it would be like to sit in a place like this with soaring ceiling. Um, they're showing you the building amenities. Of course, they're very nice. Designer ready to kind of br bring your stuff in and you're good to go. Uh, the view is already provided. And of course, the team, which is an exceptional team, they created this building. And just imagine the engineering that it takes to create and the vision that it takes to create that kind of building. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so you see where you are. So here is Young Street running down to the water. Okay, this is the core of Toronto. So you're like at the, at the, at the, at the very edge of the downtown core, which is right here. You can literally walk, scooter, cycle, Uber, subway, whatever, anyway here. You can actually go downstairs, go on a subway and go to the airport not even be exposed to the elements if that's what you need. I imagine if you live at the penthouse, you probably have a driver, but you know it's a good thing to have. Okay, so that's where you are. Um, what else I got for you here? Um, this is the condos.ca page for one bluer. I'll leave the links below. Um, you can see at the moment there's 20 units for sale, 29 for rent. Uh, this building is recently finished. So because it's re recently completed, you'll see more a higher number of units uh, available. Also, it's a very large building with many number of units, large number of units. So statistically speaking, you know, if a certain percentage is usually the average of the amount of units for sale or for rent in the building. Normally it's new, so early investors are offloading, taking the profits, moving else, and other people taking it from them. Also because there's many, there are many, many units in the building, you will see uh, relatively more listing by the number, but maybe not by percentage wise. Um, the average that uh, condos.ca is providing is 13 15 a foot. Mind you, uh, the penthouses would and should be much higher because it represents a higher perceived value. Um, if you, if you want to wrap around uh, your head around the PSF concept, so the way you do it is you take the number of uh, square footage, say 54, 55, and you, and, uh, and you take the price asked for your unit, say it's 5.4 million, divide by one by the other and you get the dollar per foot. So for a 5,000 square foot unit, at $2,000 foot, you get about $10 million, okay? At $1,000 foot, you get about $5 million. At $500 foot, you get about $2.5 million. So that's, that's how it looks. So mind you, this average PSF will be much higher uh, on two occasions, mostly. One is where you're up in the building, especially the southwest corner, should get the highest uh, PSF, the highest value. And the second is if it's a small, small unit, the PSF comes up because a 300 square foot unit you can sell for a relatively higher price than a thousand square foot unit. Okay, 
you want to know more about this, watch my other videos. I talk a little bit about this in every video. Um, and you can see here what's available for sale here. So these are your typical units, you know, uh, 600 some square feet, 750, um, 500 square feet, 750, 700 square feet, 830. So these are reasonable prices, about a thousand a foot. They have no parking, it's a lower floor. Once you get to the higher floor, like $57 per foot will get higher, okay? That's what I'm talking about. Um, here is a third floor unit with a high price uh, per foot. I would uh, always advise my clients to stay away from large units on low floors. If you buy a large unit, make sure you buy it on a higher floor unless you want to be you know, below whatever floor because you're afraid of the fire or whatever it is. Some people you know, call me and say, I just want to be on a lower floor so I can walk down. Okay, fine. Um, but otherwise, I think it, it makes better investment sense to buy a larger unit on a higher floor and the lower unit as the lowest PSF you can find because it's an investment unit. So an investment unit, I'm not so worried about um, what the view is going to be. I'm more worried about my ROIs. Where when I buy, when, I, when I'm going to go buy the penthouse here, um, it's all about the views, it's all about the prestige, it's all about the perceived value. Uh, so it's a whole other ball game. The psychology is very different here. Okay, um, when you scroll down this way, and you can see all these units, 67th floor, 2.5, 70th floor, 2.5, 74th floor, 2.38, 68th floor, 2.2, they're all like around there. Uh, and here, uh, offloaded, the uh, developer offloaded some of these uh, listings you can see yourself. Uh, here's, uh, so 75th will be the top floor and 74 will be the sub penthouse. So the listing for the unit at 9.89, that's all, it doesn't really show much. That's all it shows, but if you want to see it, I can arrange for a showing. So if you want to come and see any of the units, uh, let me know. I can actually take you up there and show you the units, okay? Which are on the 75th and the 74th floor of one Bloor East. Isn't that amazing? So here's the render. It could actually be a picture. I don't even know. Can't tell these days, but it's so perfect. And uh, it could be a drone picture or it could be a render. And here, that is the Google picture. Uh, that he captured uh, whatever it did and you can see here the balconies and the top two floors and the floors above them those are mechanical floors okay that serve the entire building I know you won't hear anything and know anything because the floor is uh, thick with a mechanical floor and there's what's called damp or is a giant springs that hold everything together so you're not gonna have any problem with that so this is the summary for one blue east by great golf panels is for sale Okay, these are the prices, uh, 1977 square feet for 3.379, 3.8 million, 4,244 square feet southeast, exposure for 7.259, 7.26, 5,741 square feet southwest for 9.8, and 3,100 square feet 64 northwest for 5.41 million Canadian dollars. Okay, this is Yossi Kaplan. I'll bring you everything from, you know, assignments, pre-sale condos, you want to assign yours, you want to buy, you want to sell, I'll help you, I'll give you great service, that's what I do, that's all I do, and I love it, thank you very much for watching, that's it.